It's Thursday, January 13th. You're watching the Daily Market Comment by Raf Boyajian here at XM.com. I'm Christina Marujos. It was another disconcerting inflation report out of the United States on Wednesday as the headline CPI edged up to 7% in December, the highest since 1982. But the figure was in line with expectations and hopes are rising that inflation is close to peaking. With Fed fund futures already configured by investors to foretell at least three rate hikes this year and Treasury yields climbing to post-pandemic highs in January, the market's job of pricing in higher inflation and higher borrowing costs may be done. That's assuming, of course, that inflation really is near its peak and the Fed won't have to move more aggressively in tightening policy that it has already signaled. There has been a chorus of Fed speakers this week calling for interest rates to start rising immediately after tapering ends in March. However, as long as the current inflation outlook holds, markets seem comfortable with the expected pace of Fed rate hikes and the rally on Wall Street may still have some steam left in 2022. U.S. stocks extended the recovery on Wednesday with the S&P 500 closing up 0.3%, and the Nasdaq Composite by 0.2%. E-mini futures were slightly in the red on Thursday, and Asian and European stock markets were mixed, signaling some caution. The main focus, though, for equity markets over the next few weeks will be on the latest U.S. earnings season. Delta Airlines will announce its earnings results before today's market open, but the season won't properly kick off until tomorrow, when the big banks begin to report. In the FX sphere, there was a much more notable reaction to the latest U.S. inflation stats as the dollar took a heavy beating. The dollar rally may have run its course and key barriers were broken on Wednesday as the euro finally cracked the ceiling of its two-month-old range. It's continuing its ascent today, climbing to around $114.65. The dollar index, meanwhile, fell through the floor of its sideways channel, hitting a low of $94.71. Aside from the euro, the Australian dollar was the other big winner. The loonie and kiwi also rose to two-month highs and sterling shot above $137 to reach an 11-week high. This was today's Daily Market Comment here at XM.com.